All right, so it's been about a minute since the last time I did any videos, and uh, we're probably long overdue. So, um, I figured I'd start, uh, I wanted to do a video of what my plans are for the year, or what's left of it. I already killed a month not doing anything. Uh, winter stuck here for me with the, the pain I deal with, with the pressure changes. It, it makes it rough from pretty much November into March. But uh, it is what it is. We live with it, we deal with it. So, I figure I'll start off easy instead of making a big old long video and go over my GGO build, GGBO build. Now, um, things I like about it, things uh, I had to kind of rush through, things I want to fix and make, make better. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to do a quick overview here of what we're doing or what I, my thoughts are. Um, do a little bit of playing acoustically, let you hear what it sounds like. Cause I think this has got a pretty pretty special sound to it over anything else that I own. Uh, I'll do a comparison, grab some of my other stuff and, and bring it out and, and play it so you can do a comparison of the, the sound of what I talk, what I mean. And uh, we'll go from there. It's got a pretty unique sound to it. I'm not sure if uh, it has something to do with the hollowness underneath here and going into that chamber where it's sealed in the back. And it's got the denser wood because I didn't do a cover plate on the back of it. And for those that aren't familiar with this, there is no cover back. All the access is through there. So, um, speaking of that, some of the things I want to fix, uh, we'll start there, is when I installed the electronics, uh, the pickup selector switch stopped working in the middle. Uh, I, can, I, can, I can turn either one on or off in, in volumes. Uh, both volumes work on it, no problem, but I can't uh, do the middle position uh, so I can blend the two, which is what I really wanted to do with it. So that's all got to come out and see what's wrong there. Um, I'm not happy with the bridges here on here. It's got the the uh, roller bridges on it, and uh, I tightened up. The rollers so they're they're not clacking in between but the uh, on the on the thinner strings the valleys aren't cut deep enough and there's there's like it goes down to a v and then flat and then comes up on the other side um sometimes when you bend you can hear it you'll hear you'll hear it slide across that flat part so what i may do is is on on like the the d g b and e um sand those down so at least they're those areas are smooth so it doesn't get that that jumping you know sliding across sandpaper sound you know i kind of I, I guess that's how i would describe it but uh that's that's one of the things i want to work on um the other thing here i'm gonna take the camera off here and and, and go closer more close up to it um to to uh to show you what the little things uh, cosmetically that I kind of didn't have time or thought I didn't have time but everybody else got that extra month uh, to complete the, the competition properly so that said One of the things that I do like, it sounds awesome acoustically, but I spent the time and I don't think I could get the intonation on this any more perfect than what it is. And a uh, quick way I check to, to make sure it's the best it can be across the neck is you just do your normal open tunings. Then you go to your next group with your octaves and then at the 12th fret. Again, with open tunings on, on the uh, 17th fret. And then again on the 24th. So, I don't think I got, got any more, more perfect than that with, with my abilities. And uh, just a, a normal tuner. I don't have a, a 
a strobe tuner like everybody else does that, that set these up. But it is what it is, and I'm kind of kind of leery about changing strings. Matter of fact, this is still the first, no, second set of strings since I built it. Um, I did the first one, played them for about a month and a half, let it sit in, um, cleaned it all up, uh, started sanding, sanding the edge here. Uh, that's another thing. It's it's, it's uh, with winter here, starting to get some some fresh sprout like right in here underneath. So I'm gonna take care of that while I get the strings off. Neck obviously needs oil. Again, um, dry winter. So we're gonna get all that taken care of. Clean her back up and restring her. And uh, let me pause this. All right. So. Um, some of the cosmetic stuff I want to do. It uh, sanded out, leveled, and and uh, shined up nicely. Just uh, with the, the half-ass polish that I did with the uh, the car compound. The, the the front of this is just crazy shiny and reflective. It turned out awesome. It's one of the, one of the reasons I wanted that super super bright paint. I don't know if you can you can see different reflections off that how smooth it is and all and uh, the blue the blue has uh, turned out really really good um, the more I rub it down after playing the, the shinier it gets but I did pick up some uh, swirl remover so I can get get it even more more gorgeous than it than it already is you can see that flake in there, even in the low light in this kitchen. But it it, it really it, it 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 blows me away. It's it's way beyond what I thought I could do. Now I'm not sure if this is going to show it. Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay, you see where I started sand in the clear off the neck got down to about there so I want to finish getting the clear off the side of the neck all the way around goes down the same same way to the other side um, that's that's the string height I mean this thing plays so light and and so easy it's 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 scary compared to anything else I played so um, again, with the, the winter coming and the changes, uh, the, the neck's got to be uh, reset. While I'm doing that, Todd sent me a nice long flat bar. So I'm going to check the, the level on the frets. And one of the things I do want to fix is uh, when I did the frets originally, did them all, got them all level, crowned and polished, and then did uh, some fall away and that ding fret right there there's a there's a, a not sure if it'll we'll see it or not it's, it's very very minute right now but if you um these two strings here on the 20 and 21st fret, or sorry, 17, 19, 21, 22, 22 and 23, um, these two will sound the same until you bend them and then, then they'll come out. So that little divot there needs to be corrected to fix that. And uh, hopefully I can do that with a little more, just a little bit more uh, fall away and uh, make it uh, salvageable where I don't have to replace the frets so so soon. If I do have to replace them, uh, Todd said he knows where to get uh, gold frets, so that would be a plus two to match the rest of the gold hardware. I'm thinking about changing the inlays too at some point and doing, doing something different. Same thing with the side dots are definitely getting changed. Those are those are just the, the standard um, drill and fills from the guy I bought the neck from. You see they're very tiny and 
in my old eyes, uh, as it gets a little darker where I play, uh, they're almost near impossible to see. And uh, that's got to be changed, so I'm going to figure out something there. And, uh, yeah, that's that's what we want to do. You know, it's all, it's all little stuff. The thing plays, obviously, excellently. I mean, my skills suck, but sound-wise, it, it, it plays nice and... I think acoustically it, it's pretty unique, even even with the old older, not so so uh, vibrant strings on it right now. Uh, I'll I'll redo it again once I put the new strings on and all that stuff. So that is that. Now I'm gonna go grab one of my other guitars and we can do that comparison to what the uh, they sound like acoustically. All right, this is my. Uh... 2005 uh, BC Rich Mockingbird. I uh, bought this the last job I was working. I was traveling all over the country, putting in bio detection units for the United States Post Office when all that anthrax scare was going on. And uh, they had these units, these big vacuum units that would seal all the mail sorters in, and it would suck anything that was any particles that were floating around, and it would do chemical tests to see if there's anything bad in the mail as it ran through all the sorters and all that so that was fun but uh i played many mockingbirds i've always wanted one but they just never felt right and uh when i happened to pick up this one in texas it just it it, it felt amazing and uh so i bought it and uh from 2005 until was a uh shortly after uh GGB 021, when I learned how to do all the frets, gave it some love, went through, did all the fret work, and then uh, enjoyed that for a while. And then I bought the Floyd Rose FRX to go on the BRS, but screwed up the neck brake angle, and, and it's, it's too high to, to uh, put on there. So I tried it on here. It works. Sounds great. If you notice the... Uh, EMG that's on here, it's all dusty. <laughs> Tells you how much I, I, I get up and play. But uh, uh, the lead pickup in this had gotten uh, one of the wires pinched somewhere. And it was it ended up being really short, close to the pickup. And uh, I like EMGs, and I was going to put a set of EMGs in it. See, these are the regular DeMarzios. So... Um, they weren't bad, but you know me, I'm an active person. So I was going to swap it over, but when I went to get the EMGs, they only had the 85, not an 81, 85 set, or even just a single 81. And the bridge pickup needed a replacement, so I bought the 85 thinking I would get an 81 later, move that, and then put the 81 where it belongs. But this thing sounds freaking amazing with the 85 in the lead spot, so this is how it stays. I like it. But you can hear sounds great, but it's not it's not as bright and it doesn't have that almost natural reverb that that the uh, the uh, Explorer has. I'll mess around with this for a minute and swap back over to that and and do a pretty close uh, comparison. So. Just open chords, bar chords. So it's it's not as bright and it's not uh, it doesn't sing as much. So I'm gonna set that down here. Oh, and they lowered the floor again. And grab this.
So yeah, you can you can hear the the difference. <laughs> Little bit Neil Young for you guys, but anyway, um, that's that done and done. And uh, when I start doing the work as it progresses, uh, I'll get some stills and some other shots, and we'll document all that and get it get it to a really really happy place.